Arab Tov Khabrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We are seeing that General Mathis, uh, uh, the acting uh, defense minister, has visited South Korea to show the support, according to the administration, show the United States' support under the Trump administration for the South Korean people with the continued uh, threat of North Korea and the nuclear buildup of their own arsenals there. Kind of makes you wonder, though, what's really going on, because as we begin to look more about these issues here dealing with South and North Korea, we also see, even under President uh, Obama, how Obama had been building up uh, troops in Japan. And of course, here on Mikhail D's channel here, we are seeing that the E-2D advanced Hawkeye aircraft flying over the Marine Corps Air Station in uh, Awakanui, Japan, and actually for the first time landing there in Japan for the first time. Uh, these type of, this type of uh, uh, intelligence gathering aircraft is landing there. Four of those were seen there in the air. It makes me wonder whether or not President Trump is really gathering the information and getting ready for taking out North Korea. He doesn't seem to be a president that plays too many games and is definitely not playing around with North Korea Kim Jong-un. Uh, I know originally when uh, Obama was in the administration, I thought more so that Obama was preparing for an invasion on Russia. But uh, with the way Russia's been going with Trump, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And in fact, the latest administration uh, uh, action, uh, Trump's extreme vetting order toughens U.S. visa procedure for Ukrainians. Well, that's about time. I'm glad to see that's a major change in Ukraine. Instead of uh, backing uh, Petro Poroshenko, the little thug there that has gone against uh, the uh, Russian uh, ethnic people of Ukraine and has tried to obliterate these people, now President Trump has taken the opposite stand there, tightening up the uh, uh, visa process for Ukrainians coming to the United States unless they stop bombing the Donetsk people over in the eastern part of Ukraine. Says U.S. President Trump's executive order, what he dubbed extreme vetting, measures to limit refugees into the United States has toughened the procedure for issuing U.S. visas to Ukrainian citizens according to the uh, consular, consular service of Ukraine's foreign ministry. Ministry. I think that's a very good thing. In fact, I thought it was kind of cute when I first saw this article came up on Twitter. There, someone took the picture on uh, Trump's White House wall and put uh, a, a, a video image of President Putin in there laughing uh, hysterically at uh, this latest order there. Also, Putin is visiting the Prime Minister Orban from Hungary uh, to strengthen their economic ties as well. And as we already know, as we have shared with you here on Israeli News Live, it does appear that uh, Trump will be pushing for the lifting of the sanctions on Russia and working with Russia uh, in the different Middle East uh, theaters there, trying to deal with the ISIS problem that has been created under uh, the Obama administration and no doubt maybe even under the Bush administration. According to this, Vladimir Putin is paying a return visit to the Budapest a year after Viktor Orban's trip to Moscow set the tone for enhanced bilateral cooperation. The two leaders, summarily unpopular in Brussels, are set to discuss current prospective mutual lucrative trade deals. This is according to RT's report going on there. And yet another action that President Donald Trump has done uh, that no doubt has got the Palestinian Authority up in arms and again making the Israelis very happy. In fact, there is a, uh, a word is going out that the Israelis are going to uh, nominate President Trump for a Nobel Peace Prize. It says a report here on United with Israel. U.S. threatens to sever steps of Palestinians sue Israel at the international court. The possibility of the cessation of the American aid in event of, an, of a Palestinian appeal in the court does not represent new policy, but has been set in American law for two years. So in reality, President Barack Hussein Obama actually put that into law. The Trump administration was warned the Palestinians that suing Israel in international courts would trigger severe steps by the U.S., including the closure of the PLO offices in Washington and to end economic uh, aid to the Palestinian Authority. You know, some weird things are going on there with uh, President Trump there uh, with Israel. And of course, as excited as it may seem to be, I'm still a little bit optimistically cautious. I've been watching also the unfolding events between 
uh, that of uh, Pope Francis and the Knights of Malta, where Pope Francis has stepped in there. It seems to be there is certainly a, a, um, a contention between Pope Francis and that of President Trump. But yet again, President Trump is a very strong backer of the Catholic Church. I'm wondering if maybe uh, President Trump is not hoping for a new pontiff to come along, one that is more in line with the White House, uh, their ideology. You know, Cardinal Dole hasn't slipped my uh, thoughts on that either. If they ever got a man in the, in the Vatican that would be someone that would be right along there with President Trump, that would be Cardinal Dole. And talk about building a third temple, well, then you definitely would see it then. Mm. Got some other thoughts on my mind. I'll just have to share those a little bit later. Anyway, I'm Stephen Venoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.